Hello again. So I sh showed this to a friend. I sent this to a friend. This is a video. Why smart people believe stupid things. And I watched a little bit of the problem to be st stated. I said, paused a bit, made a video, made stating my views just for an example to upload later, continued watching, and I was right in how it works. It's very easy to understand people once you know the basics of how, we, uh, how and why people behave and think a certain way. Now let's go to this video, how an online group, book group, can, turned out to be called. It was next, not actually, what was done was a book was used to hook someone, and you hook someone with desires. And self-help, self-help industry is one huge bullshit industry. And this gives people, these, these people who go for self-help, self-help books are vulnerable because they're looking for something, they're looking for advice from others. And if they're, Doing something like a uh, Covey's book, I will go to that. How much money did you hand over? The total I invested was 131. That's a lot of money. Um, then it's bi about business, it means money. So let's go here. I up to a webinar which I found on meetup.com, um, and they're studying the seven habits of highly effective people. Yeah. That's not a good book. I discussed this, by the way, last year with a friend of mine I, here in Kiev. He, I said, yeah, that's a really bad book. It does not work. And he said, yeah, the book, the, the, he had not read all of it, but all, only the, the habits, the how, how to deal with it, to make him more uh, efficient, more organized. And I said to him, yeah, I cut it to a certain point, And then I felt as if I was a list making robot. And that's how I wrote it down in my analysis. And also it was very interesting that reading a bit further, uh, Covey himself said, you know, that it, it does not make you a list making robot. And then I knew, aha, uh -huh, he has had, he had, so, had someone proofread the book who made the exact same comment that I made without doubt. And so I think this is bad because it makes you a robot. Secondly, uh, a lot of the things he says, examples from business, don't work. And if, uh, my friend then said, yeah, but it's a book from, an, what was it, the 90s? Uh, it's long ago, it was, things have changed. And I said, yeah, bullshit. It's the same as with uh, Dale Carnegie's um, How to Influence and Influence People, which is very similar. It's manipulative. This is also manipulative in a way, it, but, but it's slightly better disguised, but it's actually the same. And Covey in the, at the start says, by the way, that he uh, read a lot of self-help books and a lot of them are manipulative. And I'm pretty sure he meant in particular Carnegie's uh, How to Influence and Influence People, which definitely is manipulative. But in, in, a, in another way, you can also see it as normal, but that's something to... to uh, to which I've all written down, but it's something for another video, perhaps. In any case... Um, yeah, the, the 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 business examples he gave. I said they don't work. He said, um, yeah, but it's now. He said they don't work now. They didn't work then. They didn't work in the time of Dale Carnegie because Carnegie gives also similar examples of what are really more exceptions. And if you if you're interested in this book, that means that you're looking for change in your life, but it's also about business. That means investments, etc. These people who make the uh, cult, it's not really cult, yeah, bits, but uh, it's, it's about scammers. They use this book as a bait because they then find exactly the right people who fall for the, for the scam. Don't think... You, I may, uh, yeah, don't think you're cleverer than Jeff. They can get you too. No, they can't get me, but uh, a lot of people they can because people want things. I don't want a lot of money in my life. A, a lot of money. I don't want. Uh, I don't want much actually. And what I want is to know how everything works. And that's not something they can use to scam me. Uh, perhaps except if um, someone would offer me, yeah, you know, or we're going to make your book 
famous, everyone will know it. And then, but you need to invest a certain amount of money. And then I could say, yeah, 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 I need to check, uh, <laughs> and, and so on. You know, something you want can be exploited. Uh, this guy's, but I made a video uh, a long time ago about manipulation that someone said uh, that very clever people are more likely to get uh, scammed or hooked or into a cult, etc. And that's not really the case. The issue is that it's about desires and about being, for example, altruistic, idealistic, that can be used against you, or you're looking for business uh, change, and that can be used against you. If you want something, that can be used against you, because they offer you then that as a prospect for the future, that that will happen. Some people are naive, but it's not true. Yeah, that's not true. What what really is the essence, as I mentioned then, is self-awareness, self, being self-critical and just thinking about what makes sense. This is simply not true. Some people are naive by nature, some are not. It's not about, about being naive. It's about desires and about being self-critical. It's not about being clever. It's about being aware that there are scam artists and knowing the signs. Yeah, that's also not enough. It's not... It's not knowing there are scam artists. It's about knowing yourself. That's what you need. I don't have enough money for them to want me. <laughs> Professional cult experts disagree. Very smart people are hooked all the time. Yeah, I wrote that on my website also. A quote from someone about um, the idealistic people actually being hooked. And that's because they want to change the world or something. Like uh, with... Uh, it was, uh, I think, about Bhagwan, Rajneesh, Osho, all the stupid different names. Uh, so that was a, a narcissistic psychopath, or uh, or you c can call him a psychopathic superiorist. He does not need, like a narcissist wants praise, a psychopathic superiorist does not need chain, uh, change, does not need praise. He praises himself <laughs> because he doesn't care about other people. He thinks he just he's, he's superior. He knows everything. He will tell you how everything is done. Uh, it's, that's crap. It's not about being clever. It's about being vulnerable and caught at the, the time something that has happened. A vulnerable, no, desire, you want something. It's not about being vulnerable. It's actually, in general, it's about wanting things and then someone offering it for uh, a prospect for the future. Uh, if it was just that, cult through the ages wouldn't target university cities. Yeah, actually, I was once in Amsterdam years ago, and um, someone approached me, and it was... I knew it, I knew that this happened. It was about, yeah, they offered a personality test. Um, no, no, first they asked me what I did. Yeah, I said I'm a student. Oh, well, yeah, good. Then we can uh, offer you a personality test. And I knew already what it was about. It was about, uh, what was it, that, that uh, cult that uh, Tom, uh, uh, what's he, from the Mission Impossible films, uh, he's in a Scientology, that is it, that, that, that's it. And I said, yeah, no thanks, I'm not interested. I don't need a personality test anyway. I know, I know who I am, I know what I am. I don't need someone to tell me or to give me an analysis. They are super manipulative. Feeding into what you see is your strength. No, feeding into what you want. Uh, but using feeding what you see is your strength, like giving you praise, for example. Naive. You don't have to be clever to understand. They're not the same. But it's also. It's. I agree with that. But it's not. Not enough. It's about desires and not being self-aware, self-critical enough. That makes you vulnerable to cults and manipulation. If you build a business, you probably aren't naive. Mm, that does. No. That's not. Not necessarily. Controlling your time, yes, alienated from loved ones, yes, that is removing the critical influences from your life, removing critical influences about them, this cult. Uh, charismatic. 
Uh, I'm having this some of real estate is dead. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, Korean. This is. Okay. That's it for now. Bye.